Welcome boys and girls back to our Swansea City KIE mode and before I start I want to tell you that um, last Wednesday just 3 out of us 5 uploaded a video but we are still all in this and the thing is Maxwell got, had a problem, uh, probably you will know that he is going to explain it in this video of uh, in this episode 2 of season 2 um, or episode 6 in total if I'm not wrong. He recorded it, but there was a problem. Um, Grafner, I don't really know, but I think he just didn't have the time. Um, but he uploaded the video um, two days ago, I think, on Monday. It could be on Sunday, but I think it was on Monday. So, also his video is out, and I'm pretty sure this episode he is going to upload on Wednesday. But yeah, if you uh, were missing these two videos, there one, yeah, you can't watch. You just have to watch Maxwell's video now. And Crafton's video is out. Um, it's been a few days actually that I played FIFA. <laughs> I mean, after the Werder Bremen episode, I didn't really want to play anymore. <laughs> so today, of course, we're going through the next three months, September, October and November. And I want to tell you in September which games I'm going to play in the league. Of course, I'm going to play against Liverpool. Now the quick question. The big question is uh, if I want to play any... Um, Yearly games, group stage games, and I think these first two I'm definitely going to simulate. I may be going to play against Ghent, we'll see, but I'm going to just play the game against Liverpool in this month and simulate all the other games. So Jordi Ahmad asked me um, to get high wages, he wants twice that much, um, it's fine. Important first team player, we still got enough money to do this and offer some other players some um, new contracts with higher wages. Also we got a training... Session still Ianacho with four slots and Markovic with um, his yeah where we want to improve his finishing and it's straight away going up to 71. Well now he doesn't want to um, accept the contract offer because it's not something he wants to commit himself to. He's um, not sure where he wants to go, so maybe he wants to leave. Okay, I will I will wait for his um, response. I mean, he's just a backup, but he has a nice overall, is playing good, so I would like to keep him. We now got a home game against Crystal Palace. You can see we started off with eight points. They started off with seven points, so quite a good start for Crystal Palace as well. We're playing at home though, and I think we should win this game. It's not a team we should draw points against, and boom! Yes, 2-1, Markovic and Kazri with goals. Adebayo with a goal for them. Fucking Alibayor. <laughs> we got another training session and again Ianacho can improve some stats. Markovic finishing is going up again. It feels like in every training his finishing is going up plus one. And if you continue like this, I think in, in the end of this episode his finishing could be like 77 to 80. So now guys, our first game in the Euro League against Rosenborg at home. I'm playing with my second choice squad or simulating the game with my second choice squad. Montero with an early goal, very nice. Um, because the thing is um, that first of all we just have one day to rest until the next BBL games and the BBL is more important and it, I can tell you in this season the BBL is going to be definitely more important than the EuroLeague and on the other side what Markovic for Cork interesting substitution Paloshi with a goal very nice come on just a few minutes to go and we got a win very good Montero from Paloshi and yeah, and Rosenborg is not that strong and nobody in our league is uh, in our um, group stage in our group is really strong. So now we got Aston Villa away. Again now of course our first choice squad and boom! Nice ag again, a 2-1 win. Montero again with a goal and Ianacho scored as well. The next training session and Ianacho can improve some stats. Markovic improves his shot power. Now we got a capital, capital one cup game away against Middlesbrough. I'm not interested. Our second choice squad is playing. McBurney is playing and boom. Uh, okay, we won. Uh, wow, one or 20 minutes and then penalties. I would like to lose to be fair, but wow. What a thriller. And it's McBurney with a seven days injury. So now John... The Ahmad says that he is not sure if he wants to leave it. It's the same shit as always. Please give me more money. No, I don't want to stay. I don't know if I want to stay or, I, or if I really want to leave. Okay, I want to stay. It's the same shit as always. And here we go. The first game in this episode. It is at home against uh, Liverpool. Markovic 
former team. Um, we both played six games. We started off with 14 points, which is really good. 14 out of six, uh, 18 points, not 16. Liverpool just got eight points. So they are not that great, but of course they still have an amazing team. Um, everybody is fit, so we can straight away. I think that's the first game I'm going to play with Coquelin. So I will, I really look forward to use him. So hopefully my form is going to change and not the same thing is happening again or um, what happened <laughs> with Werder Bremen where we lost all games I, and I just didn't have a chance, uh, a cha chance, man, I can't speak English today, a chance against the CPU at all. So I mean we are down to world class. So maybe that's going to help me. Markovic, Markovic waiting for you, Nacho. The cross is good. I don't know how Inacho didn't touch the ball. It really seemed like a perfect cross, but somehow he was not able to get it. Jonaib. Ooh. Oh. Actually, I actually thought it's in. It's Origi. I was 100% uh, sure it's in, but it, he somehow didn't score it. I, I still can't defend cross it at all. I don't know what happened, but this Effie cross from the CPU is perfect. Come on, guys. Yes. Oh, Markovic has a lot of space. If the pass is good, it says his left foot. Markovic, and of course, he's going against his former team. I don't know how to make this um, this um, celebration where he is not celebrating because he's going against his former team. So he just celebrated, but I don't care. First good chance in this game, just before time. Markovic with a goal. Okay, we are very open. Cahill, okay, good save, but our defense, I don't know what happened to the defense there. Half time, we are winning right now. So now 60 minutes played, I have to say it's actually quite a boring game. There were just the chance where I crossed it in for Iheanacho, the one big chance for Liverpool and the goal, but other than this, it's just like this. They have all the ball possession, they are just passing it around. I mean, I can defend, we have a good defense, but we can't touch the ball at all and they can't do shit against our defense. So it's quite a boring game at the moment, or not only at the moment. Three chances in 60 minutes is not really good. Oh, oh wow, okay. What a save, what? Guys, what just happened? So I think Jordan, I just... Just mocked our defense. Thiago in for Joe Allen, why not? Can I please... I, I, sorry guys, but I have to see the replay. Okay, so this guy mocked us. I mean, look at this. Amazing. They shot an amazing save by Fabianski. And Origi tries to score it. And I think... Yeah, that is Williams who gets the cross in. Look at where Origi is shooting and that save. This could have, this may be, is the biggest save um, ever in FIFA 16, at least for me. This save, it's better than on the line. I mean, that slide tackle to somehow... Wow, I mean, I don't even know how we did it, but just amazing. We can't get the ball at all. Another amazing chance, another amazing save. Right now we are just lucky, we can't get, I look at this, it's not even what I'm asking. We can't do shit right now, we are just, I'm parking the bus, they have the ball all the time, the pressure is so big right now. But they are just 6 minutes and we did it. 6 minutes to go. I'm going to sub on Dyer for Markwich, I'm going to sub on Sigurdsson and I'm going to sub on Cork. Just three new players, Dyer for maybe a counter-attack and yeah, just new players, fresh players from the bench. Look at this, we got seven saves, Minoli had zero saves, we just had this one shot at target. It would be a very lucky win, Don't, uh, not going to lie, it would be a very fucking lucky win. We should definitely have lost this game, but right now at the moment, yes, what a mistake from Klein. I think we won this game. We had one shot at the target and it was enough to win and get three points. At least it looks like it right now. I'm going to take you through the last seconds. This should be game over. Come on. Yes! I don't know how we won this game, but we did it. We got another three points. Look at this. We had one shot in the whole game and they just hit like three form 
100% chance it's gonna last 10 minutes alone. Crazy. Just crazy. And I mean, of course, it had to be Markovic who scores the goal. Inacho is improving his finishing. He's quite close to going up to an 80 and Markovic improved his finishing again. Now the second and it should be the easiest game in the group stage. Away against Kilmarnock. I don't even know this team. I heard of it before, yes, but I don't really know it. Uh, 3, 2, 1, boom! Well, of course. <laughs> of course we lost this game. I mean, they got a red card after 26 minutes. And we still lost against them. It's, of course. Of course. Inacho just gone up to an 80 already and we are in the next month, October, the second month of this episode. Let's have a look. So in the league, I could play against Stoke, Everton, Hull or Tottenham. I think I played against Everton before and I'm not really interested in the games. I think I played against Stoke, or I'm 100% sure I played against Stoke already. So I'm going to play against Tottenham. Arsenal in the Cable 1 Cup, hopefully we're going to lose this game to be fair. And Ghent. I told you that if I play a game in the group stage is against Kent. So I don't know if I'm going to play it yet. I actually, let's see, in November. I, no, I'm not going to play this game. But if you're going to lose this game and we just got three points after three games, I'm probably going to play these two EuroLeague games in the next month to make sure we get through the group stage. So now the away game against Everton. Uh, I would be happy with a draw. 3 to 1, boom! Yeah, but, but we lost it. Cars 3 actually scored, but straight away Barkley and Baines with a penalty. Yeah, shit. But we still... No, no, then City is first place. But we're doing great right now. So still the same players as always. Inacho can improve his attacking position, that's nice. So now Montero asked me for money and he also just almost wants double the wage. Um, I will give him crucial first team player because he is a crucial first team player. And we got another training session. Markovic, I think he's going up to the 81 in this one. And no. Uh, but if he... Oh, look at this. I'm very sure if he would have moved his finishing, he would be an 81. And look at how close it is. So in the next training, he should go up to the 81. Of course, not really a surprise that Jefferson Montero accepted the contract offer. And we got a game. Um, Amat is going to play in this one. No, Fernandez. Okay. I thought they would auto replace him by Ahmad because I think Ahmad has a higher rating, but okay. 3, 2, 1, boom! Yes, Markovic with the only goal. He's going very often as well. Actually, Ahmad, uh, Iannaccio. Actually, Montero and Markovic are scoring more often than Iannaccio. So these two are even better in scoring goals at the moment. Markovic, it's not enough. Wow, that's a big... Disappointment, but look at the 74 and halfway to a 75 already and the Nacho is halfway to an 81 So these two are just improving very quick and that's just nice So now the first game against Ghent at the moment they have six points We got three the same as Kilmarnock. They also got three and Rosenberg got zero points a win would be really important They got some amazing talents Come on three two Montero with the goal three to one boom. Yes Montero and the Nacho that is an important win and if you're lucky actually Rosenberg won so if they won we now got 6 points the same as Gant and the other two got 3 points. So now we got Hull away, um, Classy is not allowed to play and we somehow are playing with Grimes. I auto replaced him and the CPU or the computer decides to auto replace him by Grimes instead of Sigurdsson. Wow, Mark Witch with the equalizer. Um, yeah, now let's just simulate it like this. So it won't take too long. Now Sigurds on his own for crimes. Come on. Don't drop two points against Hall. Uh, uh, it's almost the end. I feel like something is going to happen. No, it's actually not. It's a one or two. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's fine, but we shouldn't drop two points against Hull. I mean, they are definitely uh, much stronger opponents and we are going to drop some points there. Wow, Inacho, a tank position and finishing is now an 85, guys. 85 finishing already. So now we got a game at home against Arsenal with Capital One Cup. I would actually really, I would uh, like to lose this game. Less games, you know that. Um, 3, 2, 1 and boom! A free all. 
Well, it was two all, then two goals in extra time and again penalties and again we won. We now won two games after penalties. In both games we had to go through 120 minutes and Palosh is injured. Mm, okay, just for two days. Thank God he's just injured for two days. So now we are in the quarterfinals and now we are going to play against Man City. If we win against Man City as well, we should be... The Winning the title because then we won against Arsenal and City. I mean, of course, there are still Everton and West Ham, but the other teams are not that good. Don't know what happened to Man U and Chelsea and Liverpool and all these teams, but alright. And also, we got a game against Spurs. It's the first big, big game. If you look at the league table, you can see there's already a difference between Arsenal and Chelsea. So, between 6th and 7th place, 4 points. So, right now, it seems like there are 6 teams fighting. Um, for the first six places and of course there's Man City, Spurs, Everton, Man U, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, Arsenal and we. We got 21 points, Spurs has 22. This is the first really, really, really big challenge for our team. Everybody's fit. How? How are they still going? How are they still going guys? Good save. We're not sure. And this is the first big chance. Ian Nacho! Nope. What the fuck is that shot? He has 85 finishing and that was the worst shot I've ever seen. Look at that shot! <laughs> what? Oh... Uh, what a save! Wow! Uh, Ali again is safe, so Tottenham is definitely trying to score an early goal. Oh, fucking Lamela, please stop. Please stop Lamela. Don't do this. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, these three strikers, Lacazette, Lamela and um, Son, are so fucking good in tripling. Now they got a corner. And it should be an easy catch. And if we can play this quick, long for to Montero. Come on, Iheanacho is helping. Oh, this is so a big chance. Markovic, come on, Iheanacho, use your pace. Go in the middle. Markovic is now waiting for Iheanacho the pass. Iheanacho. Yeah. Joe is not Denied. doing things. Montero hit the post. How are we not scoring? Inacho just has to tap it in and is just running away from the ball for whatever reason. And still an open goal and we hit the post. I don't know if he's a big fan of Spurs, but right now he should have scored two goals. And both times he was just doing... I don't know. I don't know. Pass, Montero. I'm waiting for Inacho. I know that Iheanacho some, somehow doesn't want to score, but now he's still scoring. Oh, finally Iheanacho. Three chances and now he scored. It was almost a penalty here, but then an amazing Quaresma goal as well. I don't know how to pronounce his screen name, so I'm... Kaleshi maybe? I don't know. Um, Iheanacho. And again, just a go, a go just before half time and again... We don't deserve to win, but right now we are winning. So we got the free kick. Um, Sigurdsson is of course not on the pitch. Tabanu is actually quite nice. Kasri is uh, but definitely the best one. I'm going to try it. I mean, I can score free kicks. So Kasri... I told you guys, I can score free kicks. I just can score free kicks. Look at that free kick. Look at that goal with so much, um, what's the name, Efe, I think you can call it Efe. Wow, look at where the ball is, wow, going to the, uh, behind the line, wow. Wow, 2 nil. amazing goal from Gasly, I think actually what, that was his first goal for us, or at least, uh, yeah, it should be this first goal for us, and it was a wonder goal. Also going to make... Nope, I'm going to make some substitutions. Um, and I'm going to sub off Kasri first of all for Sigurdsson. Wow. Wow, that was close. Thank God it was Kevin Wimmer, the center back. Because I think a striker would have scored this. Going to sub off Montero now for um, Daya. Markovic. Oh yeah, not sure. I'm trying the shot with his left foot. Good step by Lori. What the fuck are they doing? What the fuck are they doing? Markovic blocked 
last good chance in this game in the first half. We were really lucky, but the second half Tottenham did nothing. They didn't have one amazing chance. Okay, they had one. So in total, I would say it's definitely deserved one. And right now, at least right now, every team in England should know we are definitely uh we are okay. I can't speak English. We definitely are a top team already, and we are going to fight for at least fourth place. If you are lucky, both are going up in this one, and yes, we are actually lucky. Inacho Boofing is short passing, and his shot power is now on 81, and Markwich is also at 81. I think it's clear that I'm going to play against Menu, and I'm not going to play against Rosenberg. That's my decision. I'm not going to play against Rosenberg, so I'm going to simulate these three games: Rosenberg, Burnley, Watford. Going to play against Menu. I'm not sure if I want to play against Ghent yet. But I actually think I'm going to do this. Um, just have to look at the time. Um, because Champions League is starting in around an hour. And it's Bayern against Athletic, of course I want to see it. And um, not only that, but I have to go eat before that. So if I have enough time, I'm maybe going to, uh, I'm going to play this. But I'm not sure yet. So, game number 4 in the group stage against Rosenberg again. We won the first game 2-1, 3-2-1 and BOOM! Again a win. Kasri got um, subbed in after 74 minutes and scored 4 minutes after that. We now got 9 points, they got 3 and I, I just think that Gent won. So, it's 9 points Gent, 9 points um, Swansea, 3 points the other 2 teams. So right now, 2 games before the end, it really seems like we are going through to the next round and as you were just able to see in the league table we are just one point behind first place Man City. Crazy. Kare Inge Brixten. What the fuck is that name? Um, yeah, now we got the next game away against Burnley. Should be a win. I mean, okay we dropped two points against Hull but come on against Burnley. We should get a win at, uh, with our first choice squad. Of course, straight away we concede a goal. 3 to 1 and boom! Kasri again with a goal. I mean, yes, but come on. Why are we just drawing against the worst teams and uh, winning against the biggest teams? That, that's just... just crazy. I mean, what the fuck. Um, both are improving some stats again. We straight away got the next training session again. Both, ah, your natural can improve his ball control and his stamina. That's mm -hmm. nice. I need um, his stamina to grow. It's now 70. That's fine. 70 is alright. I've I always said at least around 70, but it should at least be 70 for a first choice player. This is the league table. There is still a 4 points difference between 6th and 7th place. Still just 3 points between 1st and 6th place. Everton right now is 1st place. Just lost one game. And now the big game, Swansea against Menu. Yes, same squad as always, Coquelin right now is not really impressing at all. He is in some bad form and even though, even if I um, play with him, I don't really enjoy using him um, right now. So hopefully he's going to improve. Oh, that, okay, it's not, it's just a yellow. The moment I pressed the square button, I, I was, I thought, why did I just do this? And I was 100% sure it's going to be a red card, thank god. It's not, it's just a yellow. Who is this guy? It's Coquelin. Okay, Coquelin. Is he actually scoring a goal? Francois Coquelin? I told you I'm not 100% sure um, if I should use him and or I, I told you that I'm not very happy with him yet. And he has to move and boom straight away. The first game I told you, after 22 minutes, he's scoring. Nice, Francois Coquelin, he really wants to impress now. What is... Denied. What? <laughs> okay, cross got deflected and somehow hit the crossbar. That was very crazy. Who is this guy? John Stone. Never heard of him and he is a very crazy guy. That was... Ju that wasn't even... that was just stupid. That was just stupid from the goalkeeper, he was so lucky. Cross inside. I again don't know what happened. There, there are some crazy things happening in our box in this game. But the important thing is we are still winning. And 
This is just the thing. This is the most important aspect from um, champions or teams who can win the league. Even if crazy things are happening um, or they are playing very shit, they are still winning. And that, uh, that happened against Spurs, that happened against Liverpool and now it's happening again. Crazy game, crazy things are happening uh, but somehow we are winning again. 20 minutes to go, I'm going to make two substitutions, Montero is off for Dyer, um, not really a good game for Montero. Sigurdsson is on for Glassy, who is almost dead. Oh shit, no. Guys, Fabianski is such a beast. I don't know how many amazing saves he did in this episode, but they were a few. He is just crazy and... Ah, uh, this pass is not good enough. But we still got a chance, Dyer. Can he finish this off, Dyer? Short post! Deflected and just not in. Uh, that was really close. Maybe with this corner, it's actually good. With the Coquelin again. Wow. If that would have gone in. I didn't ask him to do a lob. No, I just asked him to shoot. Almost worked out. Oh, please be offside. Fabianski is a beast. Oh my god. He is the man of this episode. 100%. If he would not be on this form, I'm very sure we would have lost at least two of the three games I played in this episode. At least two of them. At least. Maybe even all three. He is just amazing. Back to your Nacho. Your Nacho with the shot. Good save from their goalkeeper. So it's not the second goal. But right now I'm very sure it's game over. They probably won't have another chance. Again, almost the second goal. And there it is. Three games, three wins. Wow. Fabianski, oh, he is a beast. My next training session, and Iannaccio can improve some stats, his curve, his free kicks. That's nice. So guys, the question is, am I going to play against Gant? And I'm not. I'm just not interested in this game, that's the thing, I'm just not inter uh, interested in this game, but there's going to be an option um, for you in the end of this video, which is of course going to be soon, I think that's maybe even our last game in this episode. Um, if we draw this game or win this game, we are definitely through, um, or if Rosenberg and Kilmanok are drawing, we can actually lose, we are also through, so we are already almost through. Um, go to simulate uh, this game with my second choice squad. I don't know if we have another game after this. They won all games except of the game against us. They lost against us 2-0 in the first game. This time 3-2-1 and boom! We win 2-0 again. Norton and Ian Nacho. We got another training session. There's also there are going to be two like votes for you at the end of this video. Um, Ian Nacho can improve many sets and Mark Rich's finishing is now 76. I told you I think it's 77 to an 80 at the end of this episode. Uh, right now, it seems like it's going to be an 80, uh, 76. We got another game against Watford. This is the last game in this episode. Please, come on, finish off with a win. 3, 2, 1, and boom! Yes! Thank you, Amrabat. It's good for them, but Kasri and Norton again. Koglon got the red card. I mean, okay, now we have a problem. The thing is... He's not that important, it's just Norton. But it's for three months and you know the board for whatever reason in the end of the last video decided to sell our first choice right back for no reason without telling me in the last hour. And now our only right back in the whole squad is injured. So now we uh, probably have to play with somebody like Amrabat. I'm probably, I, I have to play one of the two center backs for so Amrabat as a right back and therefore I have to hope now that not that no um, center backs so are not um, uh, Cahill or um, Williams are getting injured. Cahill actually going up 74. Look at this, this stats, motherfucker. 87 marking, 93 slide tackle, and 87 stand tackle. First decision: which are games? Go, uh, which games are we going to play? We have motherfucking three, five, seven, eight games in one month. 8 games, we have a game, 4 games to rest, 1 game to rest, 2 games to rest, 4, 4, 1 and 2. Oh my god, I've never seen so many games in one fucking 
month. Um, so, first of all, the league games. I'm not playing against Everton, as I told you, not against Southampton, not against QPR. Leicester, Arsenal, Chelsea. You can tell me in the comments which games you want me to play, if you want me to play one of the games. Congrats to Leicester, um, just to tell you, congrats to Leicester for winning the league. Leicester, Arsenal, Chelsea. You can decide which games I can, um, um, I am going to play. And here, you can see here, I'm going to play against, maybe actually against Newcastle. I played against Liverpool, I played against Stoke, so I think I'm going to play against Newcastle. And here I'm probably going to play, uh, I'm not interested in any of these games, so maybe Crystal Palace, I don't know. So, first thing. Second thing, the training. I want to give Coquelin um, a slot. I just want to improve his um, tackling. I told you I want to see them with very high defending skills. He has not very high defending skills, so I want to train him. He is quite young, so I can definitely improve them. So, should I stop training in the Wish and Short Pass? These two are very important and um, we really help um, to improve the overall of a player. Or should I stop training him on long pass? The thing is, his long pass is quite bad, his short pass vision is already good. So that's, this is the second word, also just in the comments. The third one um, is we have a uh, transfer window in the next episode next week. I got some money, um, I can ask the board for some money. Tell me, should I buy a white back? Uh, we right now made uh, three transfers, so we can do three more. Should I buy a right back or should I buy a winger? A backup for Montero um, or should I buy another right back because we just have one and he is now injured for three months. So how should I spend the money? After 14 games, 31 points already from 42 possible points. Already 10 points in front of 7th place, we are doing great. And it's an amazing league, just 3 points between 1st and 6th place, it's just crazy. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if so please smash the like button, don't forget to comment um, your opinion down in the description, also check out the videos of the other guys, link at the top of the description, the, video will, uh, the videos will be out right now as well. And now I remember the one task, uh, the one question I wanted to give you and now, yeah. <laughs> You see, I'm just thinking of the Champions League right now. I can't think of FIFA anymore. Should I play against Kilmarnock? Tell me that in the comments um, as well. Should I play against them? I would play with my second choice squad. We are already through. We are already sec uh, first place. It's not really an interesting game. And I'm definitely going to play some games in the EuroLeague. And we have many knockout rounds. But if you really want me to play this game, then tell me that and I'm going to do this. Yeah, guys. Check out the other guys, have an amazing day, I will see you tomorrow. I don't know with what series I'm going to upload tomorrow, I really don't, but next Wednesday, the next episode of this Kaye mode. Yeah, as I just told you, have an amazing day and bye guys.